comes all the way interior, right? So the base of the penis is, or the root goes all the way inside. The bulbourethral gland is right there. That little P-shaped structure. This one doesn't have it painted in. We'd expect it right there. But this one does. Bulbourethral gland there. And that's about 5% of the semen. So about 5% from there, about 5% from here, about 60% from here, and about 30% from there. There's your 100%. And all the cells are coming from the testes. Doing any of the on this model, um, you won't be doing any of the corpus. Oh, I could. Okay. Yeah, this model. So this is the All you got to remember is that the urethra cavernosa. goes through the spongiosa. <laughs> so yeah, that makes the blue grayish here the cavernosa. Okay. What is everything? Well, I did mention the urachus, the Uracus. point of the bladder. Oh, that's a yeah. that's an attachment holds the bladder up. Mm -hmm. So this is the ligament that's attached to that. That won't yeah. be on the test, but the urachus could be. Okay. I could and I could ask that question on this diagram here or this, this right that's the other half so that's the same thing right there at that point that's the arachis I could also just ask it on a bladder with a bladder if I had just a bladder by itself the arachis is very obvious right at the tip yes and like that model up there on the table has a very prominent arachis right on the bladder so you can see it on that model too so the trigony would be like right in here. Uh-huh. And this model doesn't really have it labeled in there, no. but you can definitely see it on this one. It's, yeah. it's painted in in white there. I mean, you're only seeing half the trigony, obviously, but that is that little white section in there is the trigony. And yeah, that model on the front table, I think that letter also shows a trigony.